this case actually has two parts to it. Miss Salas? Silas. Silas. Miss Salas, this is your soon to be ex son in law. Correct. And there are two parts to your case. You were deployed to where, sir? Japan, your coast of Japan. And at the time you were deployed to the coast of Japan, I assume this is your wife? Yes, ma'am. And you have a child? Yes, ma'am. Before you left for Japan, where were you living? Uh, we had a spot together, and then we moved out. The plan was to move in with Miss Silas. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Because your daughter didn't want to be alone yes, when he was away, and you could help her with the baby. Yes, How old was the child at the time? Seven. And was it just you living in your house? Yes, ma'am. So your daughter came home with your grandchild, and he went to Japan? Yes, ma'am. Now here's the case. When you were deployed, your wife got a housing allowance? I received the housing allowance. For her, not for you. I would receive it either way. I don't understand what that means. Uh, so I would receive the housing allowance whether I was married or not. The difference in me being married or not is just $200. Okay. So when you were living in Japan, were you living on government property or were you living in a private facility? In the beginning, I was living on uh, government property and then I moved to my own place. When did you leave for Japan? December 2014. And when were you living in your own space? Roughly January 2016. So you lived all of 2015 on government property? Yes, Your Honor. And so did you pay rent on government property? No, Your Honor. Did you receive any money for your wife and child during the year that you lived on government property? Yes, Your Honor. How much? 1600 no. a month. And that was designed for your dependents back in the States? At this point, yes, Your Honor. Well, at this point, you were living on government property. Were you eating on government property? I would eat on government property while out in town, Your Honor. But you had the opportunity to eat on government property? Yes. And was any other monies being sent home to your wife and child? Yes. Other than from the $1,600? A good amount was sent home, yes. How much? Seven. How much? Madam, don't sleep. This is no. court. Stand up. Move over. In the year 2015, when you were living with your mother, how much did you receive from the government monthly? The seven, I personally... Not you personally. You and your child as dependents. Get it together. This is where we are. We're in court. Do you know, Miss Salas? The amount of money, the only money I received from him was $700 a month for the rent. That's all. Now, I, I want you to think harder. How much did you get from your husband during 2015? It would depend on how much he wanted to send. Okay. So, other than the $700 a month, there was no set sum taken out? No, ma'am. Okay. So... Give me an idea per month how much you would send to you. It was a car payment for $500. Just a minute, a car payment? Yes, ma'am. And you were driving the car? Yes, ma'am. What else? The cell phone bill. How much? $150. What else? And storage. How much? It was 100 So in total, including the rent to your mother, was $1,450 a month. That was for 2015. Yes, ma'am. Is that correct? We're missing a payment, the Goodyear payment, that he supposed to pay was $140 a month. What? Goodyear is a car credit card. I I'm, not I'm not at the car credit card okay. payment. Okay. As far as I know, that's, just, that's it. Just a second. When was the last time your daughter lived with you? She's still living with me. Mm -hmm. Is she paying you rent? No, she's not. Are you getting any rent from her? No, I'm not. Why doesn't she get a job? She does have a job. She well, has three isn't jobs. She paying, then why isn't she paying you rent? Because the money that was supposed to be paid for rent... She, she was in December, she was up fine, and um, she was she saving. She was what? In December, when he was supposed to be paying the December rent, he didn't pay the December rent. And with her working the three jobs, she didn't have enough money saved in order to pay the rent for December. Just a second. Let me explain something to you. You have no sympathy at this end. I understand. I just want you to understand. I that. understand. Your daughter and your grandchild wanted to move back in with their mom. You're living alone, you take them back in. This is a good gig. The government said, okay, if she lived elsewhere, we'd give her money for rent. So she's living with you. So you became enriched by $700 a month. Your household that didn't have $700 a month before, the government now says, we're going to give you him $700 a month so that the wife and child wouldn't be out on the street. Well, you're not going to be out on the street anyway. You got enriched by $700 a month by us. No, ma'am. By, yeah, by us. She didn't work. She didn't pay it. He's paid by the government. In addition to what he got paid for his housing, they sent $700 a month for your daughter. So we paid you $700 a month to do what a mother should do for free anyway.